Hey guys, it's the Quasi Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to be walking you through what's called environment props. So environment props is a feature of AR Foundation. They make it really easy for us to get realistic reflections in augmented reality. So I'm going to show you a demo of a video that I took while I was running their demo. So you can see as I'm walking around the spheres which are using reflection props are getting information from the real world so what's crazy to me is that we can see you know all the surroundings i'm getting you know my green screen and as i'm walking around the reflections are getting basically regenerated so i can walk around i can look to in every direction and i still you know can get those reflections in real time so why would you use this and why is this important for ar it is really important because if you have you know, 3D objects in the scene that need reflections, this is going to give you a more realistic look of how reflections will look in respect to the AR, the real world environment. So I wanna show you how to set it up. And this is a demo that Unity provides in their GitHub repo, Air Foundation Samples. I'm gonna be walking you through what the components are and how to set it up. And it's actually very easy. And this video is not gonna to take too long because it's just so simple, but Mainly, some of the components in this scene, which is the environment prop scene, are the directional light, of course, that so we need a directional light. And is you know, it's very, it's very straightforward. It's just a light with intensity of one, indirect multiplier one, and then, you know, some real time shadows. The, the components that are important for this video are going to be the AR session origin. We also have inside uh, AR camera and also an AR camera manager and AR camera background. So this is all boilerplate. There's really nothing in here out of the ordinary that I showed you before. So some of the things that you will need if you if you want to cast you know reflections in, in the real world is you're gonna need these, this feature of AR Foundation which is called the AR Environment Prop Manager. And how this is going to happen is you can you're gonna add it to the AR session origin you're gonna search for it. You can just search for AR environment prop manager. And then the other thing that you need to do is you need to tell it whether you want the environmental props to be placed automatically. And, and it says right here, whether environment props should automatically be placed in the environment if supported. So in our case, we did it. I'm using an iPhone 11 Pro and everything works. So I'm using that feature. It might not work on the feet on the device that you are running but you know you just go ahead and test it and make sure that that works the the other thing that i that i did is i'm using the trilinear the actual texture and the filter mode so this one is the one that the demo had so i kept it that way and then i'm also determining whether i want to use an, an environment texture hdr or not and this one is set to true so the other thing that this scene has it has a lot of different a lot of different spheres and the reason why we're getting reflections is because the materials on these spheres have reflections. So if we look at one of these materials, so right now you can see that it's black, but if you go down here and you look at the actual reflection, the reflection, the metallic material, the metallic option is set to one, the smoothness is set to one, and also the metallic alpha is set to one. We also have reflections turned on and also a specular highlight. So the way this is gonna work is gonna start with black and then it's gonna cast all the reflections. And then when the environment probes get that information, it'll send that information to you know all the materials in the scene and then and then they'll start getting the it's probably more complicated than that, but that will get you, you know, that will get you the results that you are looking for. So just know that every single one of these has this material. You can also look at all the different things that are available here, like all the different spheres that are available. Of course, you don't need this many spheres. This is just a demo so that we can walk around and then look at some of those materials. So for the most part, that's everything that this has. The There's also an air session. This is not specific for the environment props. No, you know, you we are using an air session and that's normally the, you know, the setup for an AR foundation example. And then we also have an AR input manager in this scene. So. That's honestly everything that I wanted to show you today is fairly simple. If you guys have any questions, please let me know.